Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tapan and I'm back with a new video. This question has been all over my comment section on YouTube. What is co-op? What are the advantages and disadvantages of co-op? Is co-op internship? Is co-op a placement? What is co-op? Well, the simple answer of co-op, it is, it's a co-op. So basically in co-op, what you need to do is you study for two semesters, then you get a break in which you have to work you study two semesters you work until your co-op gets over so if you are in a four semester co-op program you have to study two semesters work for four four months and then again study for two semesters so that's eight months eight months of studies four months of work eight months of studies and then you are done if you're in six semester program eight months of studies four months of work, eight months of studies, four months of work, eight months of studies, you are done. So that's how a co-op works. Now in this video, I'll be talking about the advantages and disadvantages about co-op. The obvious one is in co-op, you get paid. You earn money in co-op. Now, now salary depends on your program. For example, if you are in the program of medicine or nurse or something like that, engineering, and if you find a good company to work for, your salary would be significantly higher than the same person who did not get a good company to work for, right? Now talking about business, in business administration, there are two things at Humber. One is normal and another one is co-op. Now for a business student, you probably would be working in different fields. Now, if you are doing a normal business administration, you would be working either for marketing, sales, accounting, it's up to you. If your course is related to accounting, your, um, your work should be related to your course, okay? So that is what co-op means, to get practical experience regarding your field, that is what. The other obvious advantage of co-op is that, is that you get to build a network as i always say networking is the key to success by having co-op you would be able to build a network in a company and if you are good if company knows that this person this person is good they would probably hire you right after you graduate that gives you a chance of being hired earlier than your other than other guys who did not have co-op now Usually, the people who do not have co-op and when they graduate, they have next to zero experience in their field. So you would be already at an advantage of when you graduate. You would have at least eight months or four months, depending on your course, uh, of experience in your field. And having that experience, even though it's not much, it still shows that you at least know something as compared to others. So it would give you a bit of a competitive advantage. If you haven't watched my last video, uh, it's right over here on tips on how to build a resume, go check that out. Because uh, having a co-op will help you to add your experience in your resume. And if you write that you have had co-op, the employer and they would feel that, okay, so if this guy has co-op, it, mean, it means that he has practical experience and it would be less uh, hard for the employer to train you because you already know some things related to your field okay so that is another big advantage that uh, co-op gets you now of course it helps you to pay your fees that is another advantage but it also reduces your work study load now if you are doing a co-op right if you're working full-time you would probably be paid more as compared to the guys who do not have co-op and who are just working um, in a random restaurant or you know in a factory or warehouse you would be paid significantly higher than them so that way in the in the four month work you would be paid higher so you even if you don't work that much due, while studying you would still be able to kind of pay off your fees right so that is another helpful thing look it's not always sunshine right Sometimes it rains too. So similarly, with co-op, there are some disadvantages as well. The first one is you would not be able to fast track your degree or your diploma. 
that won't work because in four months you would have to compulsory work and you would not be able to study at all you have to work full time for 15 to 16 weeks in co-op during that summer break so you would not be able to um, study and henceforth your degree would be there would be four years long or three years long or whatever the period is right so no fast tracking allowed for you guys if you are having co-op now next is of course co-op is helping you to earn fees right so you would have to pay fees too you will have to pay co-op fees to your college because your college would assist you in finding a co-op now let me make it very clear your college and university would only assist you in finding a co-op they would not guarantee you a co-op even if you check your college's or university's website nowhere and i repeat nowhere it would be mentioned that you will get be guaranteed to get a co-op or they would just say that they would assist you in finding co-op but that does not mean that you will get a co-op and if you do not get a co-op well maybe you need to take a take a semester off or maybe um, work after you, you complete your studies and complete your prerequisites but you need to make sure that the co-op is not a prerequisite for you in any other course so much things are related right now finding a co-op is not a one-day deal because it's not that you would make a resume follow all my tips and apply and you will get a co-op that's not how it's gonna work you need to start finding for co-op at least two to three months before to just to be on the safe side okay and you can just say that i will be starting from this day if you want you can hire me right let's consider a scenario if you did not get a co-op in toronto or let's say if you are going to humber and if you did not get a co-op say near humber or near where you live and you if you apply to a, a company and if they say that oh you want a co-op well i have a co-op i have a placement ability in kitchener would you like to go there you will have to move there for four months and that is what makes co-op challenging because you would have to literally find another rent you would have to do packing and stuff and then moving you have to let me say that there is a possibility of that too because future is uncertain now here's the difference now many people are confused between placement and co-op now placement is something which is not for extended period of time and in placement you would be you would not be paid i have a placement in business administration i have a placement that is only 84 hours of internship or work and that is usually unpaid because no no one is gonna hire you for 84 hours and pay you because they have to go through a, such an extensive pro procedure right so they would be like okay i'll hire you for your placement come work for like three or four weeks or a month complete your 84 or 100 hours whatever it is and i will write you a letter and sign it and do all the required stuff that's how it works too right so that's the difference between co-op and placement placement very short co-op for the entire summer so i have a placement and still i can fast track my program but if you have a co-op you cannot fast track your program with that said you know co-op i would say co-op is what you make it for some co-op has been a fantastic experience and they have immediately got hired for business administration humber has some students who did co-op and as soon as they graduated the starting salary was over sixty thousand dollars so that co-op can do that for you if you did not have co-op probably forty five thousand dollars annually uh, by completing this this program but again it depends on your networking as well right so it, even if you do not have a co-op but if you have a good network if you are actively participating by for building your network and stuff you could be paid that much so with that said um co-op is what you make it if you make the most out of it 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 could be a rainbow for you but if you don't it could be a rain for you be sure to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and please share this video with your friends, family, so that they do not miss any amazing content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Jai Hind.